I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. You're going to need proof of vaccination to get into some of the premier concert venues in St. Louis. Five on your side, Holden Kerwicki is live in the Del Mar Loop to explain. Holden. Well, Mike, with the case numbers rising all across Missouri, the management group here for the pageant and Del Mar Hall told me that the number one question they're getting from band management is what they're doing to keep people safe. While masks are already required inside, they said they had to take additional steps to save our stages. After closing their doors for more than a year due to the pandemic, we can't go in that direction again. The pageant is ready to rock. We're anxious to get back to work. We're anxious to, to host shows and have people enjoy the show. However, managing partner Rick Hagen says there's a problem hanging over their head. The trend is not heading in the right direction. In an effort to keep the doors open, they're now requiring patrons to show proof of vaccination or a negative test 72 hours prior to a show. We're not looking to blame anybody. We're not looking for this to be political. Uh, we sincerely just want people to get vaccinated. While the move is already striking a chord with some music fans. Why is everybody um, trying to push this vaccination on everybody? Honestly, I think it's a good idea um, because you don't know who's vaccinated and who's not. I feel like if they if they pushing it on everybody so much, something's got to be wrong with it. Hagan says he's simply doing what he can to keep the doors open and the music playing. For those we lose because we're asking them to do this, we think we'll gain two or three people who will feel better about attending a show, knowing that we're doing our best to keep them and, and everyone else safe. The staff at the pageant and Del Mar Hall will accept a picture of either your vaccination card or that negative COVID test for your entry. Now, for those people who don't feel comfortable doing that and maybe wanting a refund, the company is currently working on a policy that they hope to release within the next 24 to 48 hours. Mike.